play to potential extra you see i've always said publicly and i'm afraid i can't change my tune now <laughs> is that i had no work life balance and i regretted it mm. very often but now i'm 61 and i can't do anything about it and i think it was because i was so obsessive about wanting to be successful i was so obsessive about making sure i didn't have a gender glass ceiling and the only way i could do that i felt was just to overwork and overperform mm. and that meant time and that time took me away from my family mm. and a lot of other things i'm a bahai by religion i'm sure i'll go to hell for not doing enough but uh, how do you compensate and the truth is you don't compensate uh i think my family did feel they didn't have enough of me um we used to take small short holidays and of course i used to try and convince myself that it was the quality and not the quantity and all that nonsense but it's not true and so i think that can this generation do better i think the good news is that this generation is doing better that's my complaint about this generation <laughs> too little work <laughs> but <laughs> you know the millennials have found their balance right, right. they don't want to be uh, uh zia modi or anybody else they think it's crazy uh, and so they they find their own uh, life balance and i think today's uh, uh younger 30 year old or 35 year you would know better you mix more with them are they that obsessive no again it's a hit or a miss and there are uh, i guess you have a spectrum of people in any age cohort but uh, you would have a few i hear you who will always be obsessive that's just their nature but by and large i think that this millennium takes no great pride mm. in saying i work so hard mm. they mm. take much more pride in saying i do have a life balance mm. and i think for us as women of my generation you couldn't be successful and have that life balance mm. you had too much to prove 